Hey y'all, welcome back to the lab. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to sign up for YouTube Premium with a Google Workspace account. Now, I don't usually write about Google Workspace or business accounts or any of this like enterprisey like IT stuff, but I literally spent the past few days trying to figure out how to subscribe to YouTube Premium using my Google Workspace account, which I think is like pretty dumb. So I figured others might find themselves in the same situation. And so I just wanted to show you how to actually do this. Now in this post, we'll discuss the problem of signing up for YouTube Premium with a Google Workspace account and how I was able to do so. And the reason I do this is because like my business accounts run through a Google Workspace, so I can still use like Gmail, but with like a custom domain. Um, but that means that my primary YouTube channel, like the one you're watching on, also uses that email account. And so that is also how I usually use YouTube because that's my primary YouTube account. And so that's why I wanted YouTube Premium to not get ads on it. So I think this is actually a pretty common scenario that people will want to find themselves in if they're like, you know, a quote unquote professional YouTuber. Okay, so the problem with Google Workspace and YouTube Premium. So on a lot of forums, you'll see questions about not being able to sign up for YouTube Premium. And some people are gonna be able to say that they were able to, maybe because they were grandfathered into it or something. And then others are gonna claim that like no Google Workspace account can have Premium. And I'm here to tell you that you can get YouTube Premium with a Google Workspace account. It just takes a little bit of doing and workaround. And the issue that I was facing is every time I tried to sign up for one of the premium plan options, it would throw an error. And naturally I thought this was a bug due to my account type, but I kept looking and eventually I stumbled upon some legalese that said this. And I have it here. This is like the random page that I was able to found. And it says, except for Google Workspace individual edition accounts, Google Workspace accounts are not eligible for trials unless they are signing up for student subscriptions. And now looking back at the subscriptions that were throwing errors, they all had a one month free trial, AKA not allowed. And I'll show you what this looks like in a second, but first, how to sign up for YouTube Premium with a Google Workspace account. So the way that I solved this was to sign up for one of the options that did not have a free trial. Now, unfortunately, this did mean the one year subscription, which is like more than I wanted to pay all at once, but it does have a discount and crucially not a trial. And so this seemed to pass and allowed me to sign up. And now upon purchasing, I can enjoy YouTube Premium's no ad experience with my Google Workspace account. And yes, I've tested this and I don't have ads anymore. And so just to like give you an idea of what this looks like. So first off, like my account has premium and this is what my premium page looks like, but it's actually not what it looked like until I got premium. And the way it looks like is this. And so you'll notice that all of the options have a one month trial. So if you click on this button, there's a one month trial. If you come down here, the individual has one month trial, family has one month trial and students. So actually all of these are gonna fail for you if you try to sign up for it with a Google Workspace account. The only one I was able to sign up for was this 12 months for um, 139 because this has a discount, but it does not have a trial and therefore it passes the YouTube restriction legalese. Now, what I think should have happened is what this page shows me now after I've signed up, which allows you to subscribe without a trial, but this just was not an option for me until I actually subscribed. And so I couldn't sign up for any of the trials except for the big one. Now, I think this is a funny little bug that like really is just a net negative all around. You know, Google is kind of just losing money because people want to pay for this service, but due to the trial restrictions, it's really just not letting you. But it's also one of those bugs that's like so niche that big tech often just won't notice or get around to fixing it. You know, all of big tech or any kind of software system of sufficient scale is gonna have all these edge cases that just like are problems, yes, but just like never quite get prioritized. So Google, if you're reading this, you know, please go fix it. It'll help your Google Workspace subscribers out. Now, if you like this post, you might also like three things I don't like about my Lenovo P1 Gen 7, the computer using right now. How I use the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 as a portable vertical monitor to code while traveling. And how I plan my day as a senior software engineer, a simple scalable system for getting the most important thing done each and every day. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.